Hey everybody, welcome to Always Bored, Never Boring. Just a quick video today to talk about something I have to do every now and again when I'm collecting old Hammer miniatures, rebasing. Some of you may recall that recently viewer John Stanwick sent me some Citadel miniatures to add to my copy of Advanced Hero Quest. Some of them will be repainted, but some of them had a really lovely retro paint job that I rather liked and decided to keep. But in all cases, I still need to replace the bases, because I need all of my Advanced Hero Quest miniatures to have the same flagstone base design. So I have here this awesome Ogre miniature, one of Golfag's mercenaries, and we need to get him on a new base. Sometimes you can cut out or scrape away the old textured surfaces, and that will save you having to replace the whole base. But in this case, that texture is on pretty firmly, and it's going to be easier for me to do a full swap. To that end, I have my trusty side cutters, and I'm going to start cutting away the base. I'm just taking off little chunks at a time, being careful around the feet, and peeling it away. If there is any sand or grit stuck to the boots of the miniature, I need to scrape that off too. The boots will need to be repainted anyway. With the base removed, you can see that this miniature has some plaster or other basing material on the feet, so I have to remove that too. It's just a matter of carefully scraping it away until we are down to the metal. You will notice that while at first it seemed this miniature had a peg on one foot, it actually doesn't. So this is probably one of the earlier tabbed versions of this miniature with the tab removed. That means I am going to have to pin this miniature because I can't trust that gluing the feet directly to the surface of the base will hold it. To make the pins, I am using a giant paper clip. You could use a regular size paper clip, but with a big chunky miniature like this one, I think the giant clip will serve me better. Of course, we need to straighten out the end and then we have to clip off two small pieces. Don't use your best clippers for this. I have some messed up clippers that I keep for this sort of work. So I'm just clipping off two small pieces. Be really careful that the bits don't ping off. Insert disclaimer about wearing eye protection and always bored never boring not being liable for you blinding yourself with a paper clip here. Now we need to drill some small holes in the base of the miniature's feet. I have a little pin vise and I'm going to use a small bit that's just a little thicker than the paper clip. Again you have to be careful here. You don't want to slip and you definitely don't want to drill right through the foot of the miniature. To glue the pins into the holes I'm going to use Gorilla Glue. This glue is really thick and strong, and it's ideal for working with heavy metal miniatures. I just put a drop of the glue in each hole and then insert the pins. While that glue is drying, we need to prepare a new base. I have here a 40mm square base, which is the right size for large monsters in Advanced Hero Quest. This is not an official Games Workshop base, it's actually a solid resin base I bought off the internet. I went for these solid bases because they were incredibly cheap, and I thought the more solid, heavier base style would be a better choice for a big lump of metal like an ogre. Unfortunately, the solid bases are harder to work with, as we will see. I've given the base a quick scrub, and now we need to drill out some holes to position the ogre. I just need to know where to drill the holes, so I'm going to use some white paint, any light paint will do really, and I'm slopping some on the ends of the pins on the feet of the miniature, and then I'm going to position the miniature on the base. This will leave two paint dots, letting me know exactly where to drill. Then I'm going back to my pin vise and I'm going to drill two holes that are just the right size for the pins. We are also going to use the same drill bit to drill two pilot holes on the bottom of the base. This is because I store my miniatures in crates lined with rubber steel held in place with magnets. With a hollow base, you can stick a magnet in the recess of the base easily, but with a solid base, you have to drill out a cavity for the magnets. In this case, the magnets I am using have a 3mm diameter and they are 1mm deep, so I'm going to increase the size of the drill bit, widening the recesses gradually until I reach the correct size. And this is what I've ended up with. To affix the magnets, I'm using strong superglue and I just push the magnets into the holes. Then I'm flipping the base over, adding more Gorilla Glue to the holes where the miniature will stand and pushing the pegs on the feet of the miniature into those holes, making sure the bottom of the feet touch the base. At this point we are nearly done. I'm just going to use some sandpaper to smooth the bottom of the base. This will make it even, remove any roughness, flatten the ridges around the edge so that the magnets get the best contact with the rubber steel possible and will make sure the pegs on the miniature's feet don't stick out too far. And this is what we end up with. I just need to do a bit of painting now. I'm going to repaint the boots with dryad bark and then give them a wash of Agrax Earthshade. Then I'm going to add my flagstone pattern. There's a video on my channel already that goes through exactly how I do that. I will link to it in the video description below. And we're done. 
I'm very happy with that, and my ogre is going to fit in very nicely in my advanced hero quest dungeons. And that's it for today, I hope you found this interesting. If you like the video, please consider pressing the like button. If you really like the video, please consider subscribing if you don't already do so, and hopefully, I will see you all again very soon. Bye bye everyone, bye bye.